I'm going to show you how to write a PRL file to a Verizon 8830. This will also work for the 9530 Storm to make it work with Cricut, Metro PCS, or another CDMA carrier. Okay, you can also use this if you if you try uh, QPST and you get a NV error. If you get an NV error, that means there's a, an additional lock set on the phone that blocks writing the PRL to it. You can bypass that by using a program called UniPST. Okay, now this is pretty complicated to set up. So, uh, first of all, you have to have Windows XP. This won't work on Vista. So make sure you use a computer with Windows XP and open up the installation instructions and make sure you follow the instructions very carefully. Now first there's a couple things you want to do before you install it. The first thing you want to do is click on this HLDRV32. That's basically like a driver that you need for the program and once you've installed that then click on UPST framework and install that too. Once you've installed both of those the rest of the setup should go pretty smoothly. Okay now open your install instructions. You see that says number one install universal PST. So the first thing you're going to do is open this universal PST folder and run this setup. Okay once you've run that setup reboot your computer. You need to reboot your computer after every step. Number two, it says to install upgrade.exe. So you click on this and run the install. I mean the upgrade for the install. And then once you've done that, restart your computer again. Next step is to install a patch. Okay, so we'll install this patch XP right here. Then reboot your computer again and then finally install the phone DLL right here there's a folder called phone DLLs I've got the rim 7250c.dll file that's what you need to uh, connect to the blackberries and be able to reprogram them with a different PRL for Cricut or Metro PCS okay, you can get all of these from unlocktotalk.com Okay, so once you've got the program installed, you need to connect to Sprint Mobile Broadband. So download and install Sprint Mobile Broadband. You could also use a BlackBerry Desktop Manager, that will work as well. The phone just has to be connected and you need to check your device manager to see what port the phone is installed on. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so just go into your control panel, uh, performance and maintenance, <clears throat> system, and then you'll click on hardware and device manager. So here's your device manager. <clears throat> okay, so click on the ports tab. And then look and see, it should say RIM Virtual Serial Port, COM4 and COM5 is what mine's on. The phone is always going to be detected on the one that's the higher port, so it would be on COM5. Okay, so once you've got that connected with Sprint Mobile Broadband, or BlackBerry Desktop Manager, open up the program, it looks like this says Spirit Universal PST. Uh, let me show you real quick in case you haven't moved your DLL file where it needs to be. Okay, phone DLLs right here. So what you want to do is right click and copy that. 
and then go to C, Program Files, And then it should be InfoSoft. Oh, okay. InfoSoft, and then Universal PST, and then Plugins. And in the Plugins, this is where you're going to right click and paste. Okay. So once you've got your DLL file in the right place, then you'll be able to run the program. So let's go back to the program now. Okay. First thing you want to do is click on Edit and then go to Options. Choose the COM port that the phone is installed on. <clears throat> Mine is on COM5. Click Apply and then choose USB UART and choose UART and then click OK. That's what you need for it to properly write the PRL to the phone. Make sure you do that. Once again, go to Edit, Options. Make sure you choose the correct COM port. I'll show you that again. In the Device Manager, you want to choose the highest COM port that's in your device manager for RIM virtual serial port. Mine's on COM5. So that's why I'm going to choose COM5. Then click on USB UART and choose UART and then click OK. Once you've done that, you should be able to write the PRL to the phone. So now to write the PRL, just click on the PRL, the picture of the globe right here. Browse to your PRL file. I'm going to do cricket right here and then just click start. Now it's going to ask for a code, uh, SPC. Um, all Verizon phones are six zeros and if you've already watched my previous video on how to read your SPC then you've probably already unlocked it and changed it to six zeros so just write six zeros. and click OK. Now you see this status indicator right here, go all the way to the end. Then it will say successfully processed PRL. The phone has been reprogrammed for Cricut. Now your phone should reboot on its own and once you power it on just dial 611. Make sure it connects to the service provider that you wrote the PRL for. Uh, if you flash it to Cricut, make sure it connects to Cricut when you dial 611. If so, you know you're done. And that's all there is to it. Uh, check out unlocktotalk.com. If you have any other questions, you can email us or give us a call. Thank you.